Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, as I said, I'm back with an interesting logo design process, in this video I will show you how you can design this logo, if you like this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and let me know which part of this process you like most in the comment section, so let's get started. First, swap the color from fill to stroke, and set the stroke size 2 points. Then take the line segment tool and draw a straight line. Right click, go to the transform, rotate, and set the angle size minus 60 degrees and press OK. That's great, now select the line, and drag it to the up by pressing out from the keyboard to make a copy. Take the line segment tool again, and draw a straight line here. Then copy the line by pressing out from the keyboard, and then right click, go to the transform and rotate it to 60 degrees. After that, place the line here. Then select the straight line once again, copy, and place it to the right exact like me. Now select all the line, take the shape builder tool, and minus the unusual line. And then make this two shape separately. See, they are totally different shape. Now, we will work to make the shadow part. To do that, select this triangle shape, go to edit and copy it. Then select all the shape and unite it from the pathfinder tool. Again go to the edit and paste it to the front. Triangle shape is totally differentiate from the main shape. Now take the direct selection tool, and round it some corner like me, to make it more interesting. Rounded the corner of the shadow shape as well. Now let's duplicate this shape, to do that, drag and press out from the keyboard to make a copy. And then right click, go to the transform, and rotate it to the 180 degrees. Then place it to the up, and make some adjustment. That's great, our shape is ready to use, now let's apply gradient to it. Ok, here is the color code, we are going to use on this video. First take the rectangular shape and draw it. Then go to the gradient panel and click on gradient. Double click one side of the gradient, take the eyedropper tool and pick this first color. Do the same with the other part as well. That's great, our gradient is ready, now let's apply it to the shape, select the big shape, swap it from stroke to fill. Take the eyedropper tool, and pick the gradient what we made earlier. Now select the small shape, where we will apply shadow, swap it from stroke to fill. Go to the gradient panel and apply gradient. 
one side of the gradient use darker color, and other side color set the opacity zero. Now adjust the gradient color by the gradient tool. We will do the same in this portion, exact like the upper shape. So after do some adjustment, we come up with this design and send it to the client. Many of you asked me how I get client from the outside of the marketplace. I will share some of tips and tricks soon in my very next video, to get video like this please do subscribe and don't forget to leave a like. Now it's time to give some exercise on it, I will suggest you to do some sketch based on letter M, and digitalize it by illustrator, and post it on our Facebook group, I will review it, and give you suggestion by myself, thank you very much for watching, see you in the very next video, have a great day.